Hey everybody, so um, I am starting school quite soon um, on the 5th of September, so I figured I would make more polymer clay charms before I start school and do a charm update. So I have done that and I'm just going to show you everything that I made. So first I always make a couple rainbows because my sisters are like, uh, I guess a little bit obsessed with them, so I always make a few for them. So um. I have this rainbow and it's just really simple and there is translucent stars at the bottom and I really like the way it turned out because they are like really translucent and there's not really any dust in them so I think this charm turned out good and then the next charm I have looks like this and it is inspired by kawaii rocks on Instagram and I thought this idea was super cute, and I love the swirls. So, yeah. Then I made a couple feathers. Um, so first I made this black one. And it's hard to, like, show you the texture on this with my camera and the lighting in here. But, um, basically I put it in a mold, and then I textured it, like, a huge amount. So, there we go. Yeah, and I, I really like this one. And then, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that is who this next charm is inspired by on Instagram. And it is this peacock feather, and I like am in love with this. I think I'm going to put it on a chain necklace and wear it. Um, I tried to make it really realistic, so there's lots of texture, and I just love the way it came out. Then I made a couple friendship charms. So first I made an Oreo one. So it's just the regular like, you know, heart themed type thing. So it's a hot peak Oreo and then there's frosting and sprinkles and a little um, star sprinkle and a cane slice and a whipped cream dollop. And then on this one there is Frosting, a couple of cane slices, a heart sprinkle, a few more sprinkles, and an ice cream scoop. So, yep. Then I made a puzzle piece one. And so, here's what they look like. And they spell love on them. And I think they're really cute. I don't know why my white surface got so dirty all of a sudden <laughs> but um yeah so this one has an L on it and then this one has an OV on it and that one has an E so I thought that was kind of cute Oops. and then I have a lock and a key but I think I'm going to end up keeping both for myself because I just I like them together, I guess. But I really love this gold color. And the reason why my surface keeps getting so dirty is because I like our kitchen table is super dirty. And I guess I should have cleaned that off, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so this next charm is inspired by Tiffany Stuff. And so it's this little pink fish with black detail and this black fish with pink detail. And they both fit together. And I love this. So yeah, it's probably one of my favorites. And then I made these two penguins. And so there is a boy one with a little top hat. And a girl one with eyelashes and um, a little heart. And then on the back... They go together to make a heart and so yeah and then I made quite a few animals so the first one is this blue and green octopus so it has a little bow tie and all of the little suction cup things and this took a really long time to make um, but I really like it so then the next thing that I made was this turtle and it's not really anything too special and it has little micro marble eyes. So yeah. The next one is inspired by Bear Cakes on YouTube. 
and it is this panda with a bow. So I think that's pretty cute. Um, it looks kind of like a bear though. <laughs> I'm not really sure if she did that on purpose or not, but I think it's cute. And then uh, this is another one of my favorites is this really adorable sheep charm. And it's got like swirls all around it. And then that's what its little head looks like. So yeah, I am like in love with this one. And then I made a couple owls. So this one is going to be attached by jump rings eventually. <laughs> um, and it'll hang down. I wanted to put it all together so you could see it, of course. But I couldn't find my jump rings. Like, I have no idea where they went. And I found one sitting out on my desk. But I don't know where any other ones are. So, yeah, I guess I'll just have to wait. I was so eager to make this that... Um, I don't know, I just couldn't wait to show you. So, then I also made this, like, dark gold kind of color. Like, rusty color. I really like this color. Um, and it's just the same type of owl. So, sorry that I couldn't show that to you all put together. Um, and then I have this owl, which is also really cute. So, yeah. Then I like a certain type of like necklace like that kind of hangs with the chain, you know, um, that was not like describing it at all. Um, but I don't know, I just liked my necklaces to hang a certain way. And so I made a few that hang like that. So this one is just a like, whoops, marshmallow swirled one. And then I made this really big mustache. And it's like super, super smooth. There's no texture on it at all. And then this next one was inspired by Meme Khaki, I think. And it is this little skull ones. And I don't know why I find this so cute because I don't really, I mean, normally like wear skulls. But I just thought it was a cute idea. So... Yeah. Then this next one was inspired by um, Cool Bunnies on YouTube. And there are these Tom shoes. So I made a red one, a um, gray one, and a black one. And they're super tiny. These, like, hers look way better. These were really difficult for me to make. And then I made a couple infinity charms because I just think they're cute. And so this one is turquoise and it says and beyond on it. And then this next one says to infinity and beyond. I don't know if you can see that or not in purple ink. And so I made this color by mixing um, 18 karat gold by Primo and black together and I just think it looks so pretty so I made a few more and wow that's <laughs> really dirty um so I made this treble clef one with just some black like details on it so and then I made a couple smaller charms I made this heart one and a star one and then I made another one inspired by, I have no idea how to pronounce that. And it's this little circle. And I don't think you're going to be able to see the indents. But there is one indent right here. And it is my fingerprint. And so it looks really cool. Kind of sucks that you can't see it on this camera. But um, in real life you can see my fingerprint. And I just thought that was a really cool original idea. So then, my next charms are just really random. So first I have this Instagram little thing, and I think I'm going to make it into a magnet because as you can see, there's no eye pin. And I'm a little bit obsessed with Instagram. Um, I go on it like all the time. So yeah. And then I made this really textured cloud. And 
a felt woodsy. So it's like a plushy in the making. So there's a little pile of felt and then scissors and a piece of cutout felt. And then there's like a plushy over here with some stuffing. And then this is probably my favorite one that I made. It is this pen. And here's what it looks like. I'll set it down. So there's the bottom. And I think this is super cute. So it has a little top hat and a mustache on it and a tie and a suit. And so whenever I made this, I um, forgot to um, take out the little, you know, ink part. And so I was really scared that it was going to break because I couldn't take it out after I already made the clay on it. So I baked it for like small increments of time and then I would take it out and let it cool and do it again. So it was a lot of work, but um, it's still right. So yeah, so I'm really happy about that. And then it seems like every time that I make charms, I always have one that ends up being just a failed charm. So this is that charm, and I tried to make a realistic heart, but I just, I don't know, I can't stand the way it turned out. I hate it. Um, so there's like veins and just, you know, like heart stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah it just i don't know what it is about it that i just really can't stand um but yeah so that is my charm update and i hope you guys enjoyed it um leave me comments i like to hear from you guys i don't really have many subscribers but yeah hopefully i'll get more soon and i'll see you guys later bye